Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using variation of parameters in another way using variation of parameters part 3. So we have seen already two ways of solving the same equation variation of parameters method in two parts, part 1 and part 2 and this is part 3. Okay, so let's get going. Problem solve y double dash plus 4y equal to 4 tan 2x or d square plus 4 into y equual to 4 tan 2x using variation of parameters method. So here we are given a differential equation of order 2. Given differential equation. y double dash plus 4y equal to 4 tan 2x or we can write it as d square y by dx square plus 4y equal to 4 tan 2x we can write d square y by dx square as capital d square y here d is a differential operator since d equals to d by dx then d square is d square by dx square Now take y common from the two terms of LHS. We'll get d square plus 4 into y equal to 4 tan 2x. Consider it as equation number 1. Okay. Or this one as 1. And the equation in operator form as 2. Say f of d into y equal to sum r of x where f of d equal to d square plus 4 and r of x is 4 tan 2x. Right? Now we'll find the solution of equation 1 or equation 2 using y equal to yc plus yb. Here yc is a complementary function and yp is a particular integral. We will find yc using the auxiliary equation and later we will find yp using formula. The general solution is given by yc and yp, right? Now let's begin with the auxiliary equation to find yc. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equal to we have f of d d square plus 4 right let's replace differential operator d by m so that we'll get f of m equal to m square plus 4 and the auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 4 equals to 0. Now we need to find roots to this equation. This gives m square equals to minus 4, then m equal to plus or minus square root of minus 4, which is equal to plus or minus square root of minus 1 into 4. We'll write minus 4 as minus 1 into minus 4. This equals to plus or minus. We can split square root of minus 1 into 4 as square root of minus 1 into square root of 4. Since square root of minus 1 is i, so we'll get plus or minus i into square root of 4 is 2, or plus or minus 2i. Therefore, m equal to plus or minus 2y. We know that when m equal to a plus or minus ib that is the roots are complex conjugate then yc looks like e power ax into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. Right. Now in case of a 0, we'll have y c equals to e power 0 into x which is e power 0 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. Since e power 0 equals to 1, so we'll get y c equals to 1 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx which gives, this gives us c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx right so let's apply this formula to find our complementary function the roots are complex conjugate right 
that's now right complementary function which is given by y c equals to c one cos for b equals to two we have c one cos two x plus c two sine two x let y p equal to now just replace uh, constants or parameters with functions of x a and b then we'll get y p equal to a cos two x plus b sine two x here a and b are functions of x and you can compare y c with c one u plus c two v or y p with a u plus b v then we'll get u equal to cos two x and v equal to sine two x so u equal to cos two x and v equal to sine two x so here we'll find a and b using formula a is given by integral minus v into r of x by u v one minus v u one into dx and b is given by u into r of x by u v one minus v u one into dx so let's find a and b so before finding a and b we need to find u v one minus v u one because it exists in both the formula. v1 is nothing but derivative of v with respect to x and u1 is nothing but derivative of u with respect to x this equals to u cos 2x into derivative of v with respect to x we is sin 2x here minus v into derivative of u with respect to x is equals to cos 2x into derivative of sin 2x with respect to x is 2 cos 2x minus sin 2x into derivative of cos 2x with respect to x is minus 2 sin 2x Which gives two cos two x into cos two x is cos two two x minus into minus plus two sin two x into sin two x is sin two two x or we can write it as two sin two two x plus two cos two two x. Now take two common from these two terms, we'll get two times sin two two x. Plus cos square two x. Since sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one, so this becomes two into one for theta equals to two x, right? Which gives two. Therefore, u v one minus v u one equals to two. Let's now find a b. A is given by integral minus v into r of x by u v one minus v u one into dx. This equals to integral minus v. V is sine two x. Into r of x, four tan two x by two into dx. This equals to minus four by two integral sine two x tan two x dx. Here in the integral we are having sine two x into tan two x, right? We can write tan two x as sine two x. By cos two x 
which gives sine two x into sine two x is sine square two x by cos two x. Since we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one, from this we'll get sine square theta equal to one minus cos square theta. Then for theta equals to two x, we'll have sine square two x equals to one minus cos square two x. Right? Just replace sine square two x with one minus cos square two x by cos two x. So here in the numerator we are having two terms, and then in the denominator we are having one term. So we can split this into two terms. We'll get one by cos two x minus cos square two x by cos two x since reciprocal of cos theta is secant theta. So you'll get secant two x minus here cos two x gets cancelled from the numerator and the denominator. One cos two x. So you'll get one. Cos 2x here, which remains in the numerator, right? Now just replace the integrand with secant 2x minus cos 2x. Since sine 2x tan 2x equals to secant 2x minus cos 2x. Then this becomes minus two integral. Just replace it with uh, replace the integral with secant two x minus cos two x. Right? This becomes minus two integral secant two x dx minus two minus plus two integral cos two x dx. Right? Since we know that integral Secant a x d x equals to one by a log mod tan a x plus secant a x and integral cos a x d x equals to one by a sine a x. Now just apply this formula, then we'll get. Minus two integral secant two x dx. Just for a equals to two, we'll have one by two log mod tan two x plus secant two x plus two into integral cos two x dx. Just compare cos two x with the formula cos a x, and for a equals to two, we'll get one by two. Sine two x. Two gets cancelled, and we'll get minus log mod tan two x plus secant two x plus sine two x. Therefore, a equal to minus log mod tan two x plus secant two x plus sine two x. Right. Let's now find b using integral u into r of x by u v1 minus v1 into dx. This equals to integral u is cos 2x into r 4 tan 2x by 2, which gives 4 by 2 integral cos 2x into tan 2x. Ds. It gives two integral cos 2x. We can write tan 2x as sine 2x by cos 2x, where cos 2x gets cancelled. Equals to two integral sine 2x dx. Right? Then. B equal to two into since we know that integral sine a x d x equals to minus one by a cos a x. Just compare sine two x with sine a x, and for a equals to two, we'll have integral sine two x d x is minus one by two into cos 
2x. 2 gets cancelled and we will get minus cos 2x. So therefore, b equal to minus cos 2x. Right? We got a and b. Let's now find yp. yp is given by a cos 2x plus b sin 2x. Just apply or substitute a and b here. We'll have a minus log mod tan 2x plus secant 2x plus sin 2x into cos 2x plus b minus cos 2x into sin 2x which is equal to minus cos 2x into log mod tan 2x plus secant 2x plus sin 2x into cos 2x plus into minus minus sin 2x into cos 2x. So here minus sin 2x cos 2x and plus sin 2x cos 2x gets cancelled and we'll get yp equal to minus cos 2x into log mod tan 2x plus secant 2x, right? So we got yp here and we have yc. Let's now write the general solution using y equal to yc plus yp. Therefore, the general solution of 1 or 2, okay, is given by y equal to yc plus yp, then y equal to yc, c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x plus yp is minus cos 2x log mod tan 2x plus secant 2x right or y equal to c1 cos 2x I'll just remove the brackets now okay you can just write directly c2 sin 2x plus into minus minus cos 2x into log mod tan 2x plus secant 2x. This completes the problem. So this is all for now. I hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.